Hi, welcome to this video focusing on the obfuscating malicious PowerShell. I'll be using the distro Flare VM from Maniot. For our analysis, I've obfuscated a PowerShell script using a tool called Invoke Stealth. Malicious actors obfuscate code to evade defenses and frustrate analysis. For deobfuscation, we'll be using PowerShell script block logging, which can be enabled in the registry or via group policy. Script block logging records blocks of code as they are executed by the PowerShell engine and records of deobfuscated code in addition to the original obfuscated code. At the beginning of our analysis, I'm clearing the log and confirming suitable size of the log to capture all the executed PowerShell script blocks. Let's go ahead now and execute the PowerShell script and monitor its completion. With execution complete, we have a look in a event viewer to have a look at the script blocks that have been recorded. I like to copy the logs to its own analysis folder, which I'm doing right now. It's important to note when script block exceeds the maximum length of an event log message, it is fragmented into multiple entries. We can use a script to pass the script block uh, logs and reassemble it. I'm using a script here written by Vicar Singh. Uh, we can either target a single script block by specifying the ID from the event log, or we can simply do all as I'm doing here. I will include a link to this tool in the resources section of this video. Once the script has completed reassembling the script block, we go and open the original obfuscated script to compare with the now deobfuscated script and um, notice the difference, particularly in terms of readability. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you found some of the tools and techniques discussed useful. Thanks for watching.